Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another Razor Company Shaving Chat. I'm the Shaving Cyclist, also here on YouTube and Instagram. Let's get started. So we're going to shave with this one today. It just released on 9-9 of 23, Never Alone 3. This project uh, is a collaboration between uh, several different artisans and vendors. Um, it's the Razor Company, Ariana, Ariana and Evans, pardon me, uh, aka Brushworks, and also um, Caleb from Aylesworth Razors did the artwork this year. It's absolutely fantastic. And there's a little um, uh, semicolon up there that, you know, the story isn't, isn't done yet. And two guys that were integral in the project are uh, vintage head shaver and then also red island shaver so uh, Ken and J Mac uh, absolutely really really did a nice one on this so uh, we'll go over set notes and all that kind of stuff here in a, in a little bit so and for the brush today we whipped it up uh, pre um, in my uh, 3D printed bowl and look at this coin, you guys. Hopefully you can see it. So uh, it's a duplicate of the of the label art and it's also got numbers on there and we'll go over that in a minute. This is number 54, it's a bore brush and it is absolutely stunning. Um, I always say this, it, the camera doesn't really do it justice quite honestly. So um, yeah, let's get started. And, We'll just put the lather right here on the face, so. It was a really, really great weekend to support this charity. And all these products I purchased, just so everybody knows. Because I believe strongly in the project. And my life tangentially has been affected by um, a suicide of a good friend back in 2015, 14? Yeah, 2014, 15. Um, known him since high school. Just a all around solid, solid guy and married his high school sweetheart who I knew obviously since I went to high school with them both and just absolutely fantastic uh, person and family. And he, uh, he took his own life. Um, it's such a shame the world is, is poor for him having uh, departed us so soon. So that's why I support this project. And I've struggled with my own mental health issues in the past. So I found good people, good friends, exercise to be key to my my stabilization, if you will. So if you or anyone you know are considering suicide, I implore you to dial uh, one of these two numbers. If in the United States, it's gonna be just simply 988. You can call or text and uh, someone will be available for you. If you're in the uh, Canada, um, just please dial 833-456-4566. Um, all the proceeds I should, uh, tell you from the sale of all the Never Loan products is being um, given to, well, it's going to be split uh, between the U.S. and Canada to support those efforts. So um, we're going to go with this one, a Gillette Tech. Uh, it's a 1952, um, and it's um, it really gives me great shave, so I wanted to bring this one out. It's kind of a special razor, so... I should also tell you that this is the first used feather blade in here. Fantastic. So um, the scent notes in this are bergamot, passion fruit, guava, mango, peach, mandarin. Lily, Lily of the Valley, pardon me, uh, jasmine, iris, orris root, oak moss, musk, Himalayan cedar, Haitian vetiver, and sandalwood. I personally would um, describe this scent 
profile as uh, floral forward. I get a little bit of the fruit, but quite honestly, the um, lily of the valley and the iris and the jasmine really, really come through on this. Really, really does. It's fantastic, you guys. And gals. So if you supported this project, I appreciate it. I'm sure Jason and Peter Charcalis over at A&E and Caleb and J-Mac and Kenneth do as well, along with those that, you know, need to reach out for those services. This is in Peter's Ultima base, and it is super slick. I can't wait to uh, set a straight razor on this. Normally I straight razor shave, or at least that's my preferred method, but if I'm gonna be doing a lot of talking, that's uh, not necessarily um, something that we can do uh, throughout the shave, just because of the concentration involved. So sometimes I, on the shave and chats, it's okay to go with the DE. Okay. Just kind of clear the, clear that out a little bit. All right, let's go. So at the time of this, recording, there's Pretty much the only thing left are a few set or a few tubs of soap and some other swag. I'll show you in a minute. So if everything is sold out, I encourage you to support um, the razor company and Aylesworth Razors and AKA Brushworks. And also Jason at the Razor Company. They've done a fantastic job with this project and they put a lot of time and effort into it. And like I said earlier, Hundred percent of the proceeds go toward go toward uh, suicide prevention and mental health awareness in Canada and the United States, split evenly. And it's just a heck of a project. This poor brush is. Uh, I've only been using it in a couple of days, and it's just sucking up the lather. You know, it's pretty typical for a, a new bore. Um, what I've done though with this bore brush is I have a tester tub and on Sunday night or Saturday, maybe it was Saturday, Saturday night, uh, when I got back from, um, the Detroit area, Kego Harbor specifically, I, um, whipped up a lather and then put the brush in all the lather inside of a uh, old coffee mug and just let it sit overnight. And that really, really worked well. Okay, I think that's enough for now. He said as he puts more on. Okay. something else.
This soap base is so slick. You know, sometimes you forget in our hobby how slick a base is because there's so much product that comes out. And when you return to them, you're always just amazed. Look at that, there's no soap at all. And I'm still just gliding over, just gliding over. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste the uh, the entry underneath the product. Put it in the comments down below, or not in the comments, pardon me. In the video description, hopefully it works. I can't get over how... Pardon me, I just got, got lost here in the shave. Um, how wonderful this, um, this scent is. So let's just take a look at this lather, pull that out there for a moment. It's really impressive. Really, really cushiony. This had quite a bit of water left in the brush, so it's a little bit goopy right now, but the point is just fantastic. So when we return from my rinse, uh, we'll go into post shave. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, and we're back, and just want to kind of show off this shirt a little bit. Um, it's just something kind of special. Um, and you can see the suicide lifeline call text 988 in the United States, and then 833-456-4566 in Canada. So um, we're going to dry off with my Never Alone towel. Um, that was a fantastic shave. It took me a little bit longer to... Rinse off just because of the slickness of the soap, but we just did a warm water, cold water rinse. And we're going to finish off with the Matchy Matchy. Um, five ounces of uh, pure goodness right here. It's an aloe, uh, for, aloe ju vera juice, alcohol, rose hydrosol, uh, vegetable glycer, and emu oil, and there's a bunch of other stuff. So anyway, I'm really looking forward to this. And maybe you can see here on the bottom, it's a little bit milky which um, if you're not a fan of, that's too bad because this is a really good um, aftershave. So it does have alcohol in there and I'm just gonna let it sit here in my hands for about five seconds and then put it on my face. Wow, that is something else. Wow, that is really floral forward. You can really pick up the lily, lily of the valley and the iris now. 
put some on the head here, some of this goodness. I think this is going to last for hours, quite honestly. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for joining me. Remember those numbers, 988 in the United States, 833-456-4566 in Canada. Uh, if you or anyone that you know or love is struggling with mental health or is considering suicide, please have them reach out to those numbers. It's imperative that, you, that we try and help everybody that we can and uh, keep them around because the story isn't over. So long.